Welcome back. Last time, we were taking a look at all of the Beetleworks that didn't make the final cut. Now with that out of the way, let's end this off with the ones that do make it in the Epic Mickey games. Once again, these are the Beetleworks. In the games, they were originally created by the Mad Doctor, made out of scrap parts of Disney attractions and Disney memorabilia to help around the wasteland. But when the Blot Wars came and the Doctor switched sides with the Blot, he reprogrammed the Beetleworks to go out and attack anyone in their way. There are known to be four types all around the Wasteland in both games. First, there are the Hoppers, the weakest of the group that hops around with its one leg and would go headbutting people. All you have to do to stop them is just thin their toon shell and spin on them. That's it. For their shells, they're usually modeled after Disney birds, including one of the vultures from the Jungle Book, Scuttle from the Little Mermaid, or this droid-like thing where I can't really figure out where is its origins. In Epic Mickey 2, there are even more hoppers found modeled after the owl from Bambi, the toy soldiers from It's a Small World, and the little devils from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Then there are the spinners, a bunch of tricky little buggers where they would come close to you with their buzz saws. The only way to get around it is like the hoppers, but it has to be done a few times and they take a lot of thinner to destroy. What's interesting about these guys is that when it comes to where the varieties are from, there's none to really specify the reference. It's either this steampunk-esque shell or this skeleton. However, in Epic Mickey 2, there is this ladybug spinner from the Main Street Electrical Parade that can be found in the opening and in the train tunnels. Next, there are the Bashers, a more human-looking beetleworks that will attack anyone with his sword or rod or whatever stick he's holding. To defeat it, you have to thin his body, then wait for it to attack and miss, revealing his weak spot, then spin to damage it. They're introduced in Ventureland, where a special machine was turning Captain Hook's crew into bashers. Then there are the skeleton kinds, and the one that's modeled after Maximilian, one of the villains from the Black Hole. In the sequel, another basher was introduced modeled after TikTok from Disney's sequel to The Wizard of Oz, the 1980s Return to Oz. Finally, the fourth kind of Beetleworks, and the most interesting, the Tankers the strongest of the group that is able to shoot both paint and thinner to knock out their foes. To beat it, it's similar to the process of the bashers, but after you hit it, it will spin and shoot around and when it has its back on you, that's when it's time to strike. Some tankers can be modeled after a couple of things at the same time, like this one with the body of the light cycle from Tron and the head and the cannons from a guard from Lilo and Stitch. Then there are the ones from Disney villains, like the evil queen in her witch form from Snow White, with her poison apple for the body and deadly potions for its cannons, or even Ursula from The Little Mermaid, with pillar cannons and a giant shell for a body. Also, in the train tunnels, believe it or not, the tanker in there is none other than the Hades head from the original beta version. And with that, this concludes the Epic Mickey Files. From the gigantic bosses like the It's a Small World Clock Tower, to the small enemies like the Blotlings. From the creator Yen Sid, to the man in charge Oswald, to the small civilians like Horace Horsecaller. They each tell their own stories about who they are and what landed them into the wasteland. Even though it seems like we're not going to be returning to the Wasteland anytime soon, it would be great to just go back and discover what else lies in the land of forgotten cartoons. I'm sure there's an entire world waiting to be rediscovered that's filled with characters that we have forgotten for so long. But for now, it's time to put down the paintbrush and put the files back in the cabinet. Or... Dear Disney Interactives, 